so just to clear things up, um, I posted this video. Uh, my whole, the whole point of my channel for me is to be thought provoke, uh, provoking. So I'm trying to provoke thought and uh, I want people to question things. So everything I said is that if I'm very proud of being from a place, it wasn't anything, by the way, about Puerto Rico. I know there's a Puerto Rican parade, there's a Dominican parade, and there's a Brazilian parade here in New York City. Um, then I know there's, um, uh, what is it, uh, the Bastille Day for the French or something, but that that's not necessarily celebrate. It's not the French parade. It's just something about a festivity that they have. So anyway... I, uh, regardless, it goes uh, for everybody, really. I'm not really pinpointing one country. And I think, uh, spe like, especially about Puerto Rico, I have a lot of friends from there, and they're great people. And I'm sure that there are a lot of Puerto Ricans that are not great people, too, especially the people um, writing death threats. So if anything happens to me, this has been recorded. Um, so you can find the criminals through the comments. Uh but anyway, um, I wasn't really trying to offend anybody. I was just technic. I'm from another country too, so I if my country, it's they don't have a they don't have a parade here. But if I did have a parade and I have to celebrate my country when I decided to move to the United States, I would feel a little hypocritical to go because I'm like, if I like it so much, I'll go back to my country. I don't need to be here. So that's just something that I think I chose to live in New York city because I absolutely fell in love with New York and I thought it was great. Um, if one day I feel like I don't like it anymore, I can go back to my country if I feel like I like my country better. Um, but I have a lot of issues with my country, so I'm not so happy I mean, I'm happy to be where I'm from. It's to, you can't delete what happened. It's just that's where I'm from. But I don't feel the need to celebrate my country here while I'm living somewhere else, if that makes any sense. So it's not about really Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic or, or France or whatever other country that has a parade here. I just feel like if I'm proud of where I am, I'm going to be there paying taxes where I, where I'm supposed to be or just being there. And even if you're thinking, okay, like, let's just go to the San Francisco parade and that takes, takes place in Seattle. It's like, you know, if I like San Francisco so much, I would live there. I wouldn't be in Seattle. That's the whole point. That's the only thing that I wanted to kind of, that was my point. It wasn't to offend anybody. I know that um, the U.S. Um, wasn't that kind to Puerto Rico in the beginning, um, but now they are because you can anybody from Puerto Rico can just move to the U.S. and not go through all the BS that anybody else from other countries ha well goes through. Although now these migrants just come like it's in their own living room and take a ton of things for free. But in the past, when I moved here, like we had to pay thousands of dollars uh, to immigration attorneys and everything to get the citizenship, which I'm happy that I got. And it's great. It's a great country. With that being said, I, I also don't love everything about this country. So maybe one day I'll move to some people are telling me to get the F out and I might. Um, anyway. Just a few thoughts that I wanted to say. I hope I didn't offend anybody. And I hope that my point um, was understood in the end. Because I, I wasn't really trying to insult any country in particular. And I think a lot of people from any country um, that celebrates that, uh, they're great countries, all of them. And there's always good things everywhere. And... Didn't mean to offend anybody. That's all. Just wanted to uh, say that because I'm trying to be thought provoking, but I'm not trying to be aggressive towards anybody here. So, yeah, that's all.